I don't know how you people live down here. It's hot, it's humid. Most of the time it smells like that goddamn river. It smells all right to me. You know what it is. It stinks of mud. Wet, rotten mud. It's been buried down deep for way too fucking long. The Mekong Delta had that same goddamn stench. Hated it then, hate it now. So, what'd you find out? Franco Frank Pagani runs Tikfa Harbor. Reports up to Tommy Marcano, and he has a ship called the Tanager, which he uses to smuggle shit in and out of the city. For the past eight months, he's been making regular trips to Bermuda. What's in Bermuda? <laughs> Not a goddamn thing. He's really been going to Cuba. Marcano used to run the mob casinos down in Havana. My assumption is that Frank has been taking whatever is salvageable from the old casinos and bringing it back up here. That's a lot of effort to reuse some old tables and slot machines. There's gotta be something else going on. Yeah, unfortunately we can't walk up to Frank and ask him. He's in Havana now and he isn't scheduled to be back anytime soon. I mean, we gotta force him to change his travel plans. Frank's businesses are centered around stolen cars and freight. Look for places that'll support that kind of activity. Once you start taking them down, he'll come home. All right. I'll put a tap on the Coast Guard and let you know when the Tanager contacts them. Huh? Where do you think you're going? Over here. So you the scary motherfucker who gon' deal with Junior Holland. Nice to meet you too, lady. Set it down. I don't mean anything by it. I'm Gina Kowalski. My old man and I used to boost cars with Junior before he decided to bring us and throw in with Marcano. I don't see your old man around. Died in the cell upstate round Eastern. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> he shouldn't have got caught. Junior's running cars out of the Vessel gas station around the way. Got some pros that come around with high-end rides. Hell, he even got a sideline bootlegging gasoline from the refinery. Where are the cars going? He sells some here, but knowing how many nice new rides gone missing lately, I'm guessing Junior's getting ready to run a bunch in a shipment out of town. If he's got people out on the street, I'll get him to talk. Maybe even get word about the pros he's got working for him. See you around, Gina. Junior's boys don't scare easy, but you still need to get some of them to talk. Somebody better be fucking with me.
making that sound. Yes! Say goodnight to the asshole. Oh. Been a while to hide here. Boom, boom. Come, cocksucker. Fucker thinks he can fight me. Oh. Oh. Die. Oh. Stop 
What the hell? No business here for you. Just going to take a quick car here for you. That's a big help. Young is looking pretty fuck now, isn't he? You got that little speed freak junior studied up out here. Didn't plan on doing any less. <laughs> an old friend with an E out at the best door. Say junior come blowing through, making everybody's life a living hell. And he won't leave until he can get the business right. <laughs> Never heard of junior Holland being so dang motivated. When you have to kick up to Sal Marcano, that'll light a fire in the ass. That and all the speed he's on. When you whip his ass, tell him he shouldn't have messed with Gina Kowalski. <laughs> I'll catch you later, Gina. Junior's a dirty, backstabbing piece of shit. Go get him. I'm in tick fall. Just about out of everything. I'll head your way now. You spot anything Show you can me what use? You got. Don't.
Deal. I'm out of here. Going. What the fuck was that? Hey, who this guy? I spotted him. But I don't know anything about stealing cars. Look, all of Junior's best boosters are either dead or gone. We all got to get in. You want to end up like them? Is that what you want? I don't think so. Hey, you want to go tell Junior no? Be my guest. Meantime, keep those... You at a crossroads, Junior. You can come work for me. Or... Alright, fine. Now get the fuck off me. Sure thing. If we're gonna hold Tickfall Harbor, I'm gonna need some of your guys. No worries, lad. They're on their way. Hold tight. I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved helping those boys. 